Hey guys, it's Drutter here, and today's February the 18th, 2013. Uh, I have so many videos on the go. <laughs> videos planned, videos on the go, videos half done. <laughs> but uh, this one just came up, and I just had to do something about it, so I'm going to keep it short. But uh, I have some special effects here, you'll see in a moment. The title of the video is, What is a Silver Shortage, and Is There One Right Now? Well, first of all, I'd like to talk about the first part of that question, what is a silver shortage? And of course, to answer that question, you must know what a silver shortage is. I don't know what a silver shortage is. I mean, I hear this term talked about a lot. People like to talk about silver shortage, debate if there is one, if there isn't one, will there be one, will there not be one, etc. Um, but I thought I would look in the dictionary. Anyhow, this is what a shortage is in the dictionary. I think that we all know what silver is. So what is a silver shortage? Ah, beautiful. A silver shortage is a deficiency in quantity of silver. And I guess that is self-explanatory. That's that's what I thought it was. That's probably what you thought it was, too. Um, but I think it's helpful to define things, make sure you know what you're talking about. Okay, so now we can actually seek to start answering that question. What is a silver shortage? Um, well, that's what it is right there. Uh, it's a deficiency in quantity. Now, how will that look? Um, you know, I guess you wouldn't be able to find silver. That's what I think a silver shortage would look like, is you couldn't find it, or you were having a great difficulty getting your hands on some of it. And we're talking about silver for investment purposes, and we're also talking about silver for industrial purposes. Any purpose for silver, really. We're talking about the physical metal, and we're talking about there being not enough, basically. So that's what a silver shortage is, or at least that's what I'm going to define it as for this video here. I thought it would be useful to type in shortage onto my channel page and see how many times I've talked about shortages. Um, out of my 320 videos, it looks like there's uh, 1, 2, 3, that's 9, 12, 15, 16 videos where I've mentioned the word shortage. I think some of them are food vid videos, so <laughs> I was talking about something else. but. Um, and I have mentioned it as recently as the Royal Canadian Mint was rationing silver maples two weeks ago. Um, but this is the video that comes to mind when I, when I think about silver shortage. This is the video I did about a localized uh, shortage of silver in Vancouver. And it was indeed true. There was um, no silver to be had in Vancouver for a few months, um, really. Uh, you could find it privately. The premiums were very high, uh, sometimes $10 an ounce. Um, or you could get on waiting lists, which were up to two to three months long, and uh, pay whatever price was going at the time. And you don't know what the price is going to be when you finally get your hands on this stuff. But um, this is an example of a um, localized shortage. And this shortage was caused by supply problems and high demand. It was not a shortage of physical silver left in the Earth's crust, which I think is what a lot of people think about when they talk about silver shortages. So. Shortages can happen uh, locally. Uh, for example, they did in BC and most of Canada during this time. Um, when was this video put out? This was February 2011. Okay, so this is on the run up to the $50 mark. And yeah, the silver market was roaring then. It was absolutely roaring. So there were people buying in the 30s and even into the 40s um, during this time. And yeah, there was a there was a shortage on. <laughs> there absolutely was. But does that mean that there's no more silver to be had? Does that mean that if you want to um, stack silver for your future or for your retirement or whatever, that you have to get your hands on some today? No. It doesn't mean that at all. And, um, you know, you see a lot of websites and a lot of bloggers and a lot of people really pushing that concept that silver is gone. There's no more silver. And, you know, if you see a one ounce coin left in your uh, local store, you better get that now. Or, more likely, you'll see a little ad pop up and they'll say, ah, you can buy silver from me. Well, I sell silver myself, don't I? Um, I have a website, CanadianSilverBullion.com, which I've had for three years now. Started about six or seven months after I got interested in silver and started this channel. Um, I do very small amount of business on that site. And uh, while I do enjoy it and it's, you know, uh, I feel it's worthwhile, I set my prices so that I'm actually not profiting off of those um, purchases, and if I am, it's about 50 cents per order type thing. So um, I'm not flogging my site. You'll notice I don't really have an agenda where I'm flogging my site. Um, 
I mention it from time to time and that's about it. But um, you know, I'm not going to single anybody out here necessarily, but uh, if someone's telling you that there's a silver shortage and they're telling you in fact it's more than just a local supply shortage, it's actually a worldwide, um, if you don't get your hands on some now you're toast shortage, and that person at the same time is also attempting to sell you silver bullion, just that should be a warning flag. I'm not going to say that everyone doing that is dishonest, but I'm going to say that should be a warning flag and you should take that into consideration before you make any kind of um, purchase, collection, or investment decision. Now this is actually the article that I saw today. Someone from Bullion Bugs linked me to this and asked me what I thought about it. Uh, German automaker reportedly hoarding as much physical silver as it can acquire. And this was sent to me uh, this morning and I checked it out and I thought, you know what, I'm going to have to make a comment about this. I've seen this website before and I must say I'm not impressed with the information that they put out. Um, they could very well be correct in that there is a silver shortage coming, but I don't believe that they are correct when they make some of the claims that they make. And I'll go through this a little bit right now um, to talk about this in terms of silver shortages. First thing I notice when I see this is that it is a bullion website. Um, they are they're they're actively selling us silver bullion, which is not necessarily um, an indicator that their information is wrong. It's just something to take into consideration. And as you'll see, they have their you know their products placed throughout the the article. So even you know as you're getting worried about the silver shortage, the, the ads um, pop up during the article. As you get more and more worried, the, the ads continue. But anyhow. Um, okay, let's continue here. And by the way, this is no offense to anyone, whoever runs this site or whoever um, reads this site. This is nothing against you. Um, this is just my opinion. Okay. So it starts off, last month we posted a report which subsequently went viral, and yes it did, I heard about that as well, from an Apple contractor who claimed that Apple has delayed production of the IMAX due to silver shortages. Now I when I heard that immediately I thought that's completely garbage and I haven't heard anything about it since. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, <laughs> I don't think it is. It, if you want to make IMAX you need a, a little bit of silver, a very small amount of silver. And you can get a small amount of silver anywhere. And people say, well there's a lot of IMAX. Sure, there may be a billion IMAX. Maybe they're making one for every seven people on the planet. I don't know. Maybe there's a billion IMAX. And if each one of them has, oh I don't know, a quarter of a gram of silver, which is being very generous. How much is that? Not very much. These people could have got their silver off the market already. Um, you know, when Sprott does his buys of millions of millions of physical ounces at a time, he can sometimes have a little bit of a problem getting that much in hand. But you know, it's ridiculous to say that they couldn't make IMAX because there's not enough silver. Please, 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 screw in your brain before you make these kind of claims. Um, anyhow. Uh, new signs of an extremely tight wholesale phys physical market have emerged as a first-hand account has revealed that one of the largest and most famous German automakers is hoarding massive amounts of silver inside one of the most secure vaults in Switzerland. Financial writer Byron King, okay, so basically the rest of the article is based on this guy's information, and I went and looked up who he is, um, Byron King, Agora Financial. Um, and it lists a few recent interviews he's done, so I guess he's a, a, a blogger um, or a, an interviewer or, or something. Um, he does interviews and writes articles, I guess, about these things. So, um, Viewed the massive German automaker's silver hoard in Zurich, stated. And then um, he goes on to say that he found pallets and pallets of silver, and this is a you know a blurry picture of the vault supposedly, and a blurry picture of what are supposed to be bags of silver, um, silver shot, which is just little pebbles of silver. And I do believe it says there A G in red. I think um, I don't know. Uh, property of a well-known German automaker. So the article's premise is that there is a silver shortage right now, as evidenced by the um, German automaker purchasing large amounts of silver. But then I looked at this, and this actually comes, um, see here, King begins the narrative, you can click on that, and that's this is the actual source of the information. And this came out five days ago. So it's relatively new information, but then as you read this, you realize that the information 
this is being talked about five days ago actually happened over a year ago. So how does that relate to today? Um, <laughs> it appears we managed to make it through that <laughs> short period and there seems to be enough at the moment. Uh, I'm not hearing of any even localized shortages right now. Uh, the only shortage related information I have lately is that the Royal Canadian Mint was rationing during January due to a lot of sales but January sales are always high and the same thing goes for the US Mint and their Eagles um, as far as I've heard now the premiums have come down on those there's not much of a shortage anymore it was just a localized supply shortage so that's my video on shortages guys um, I don't believe that there is a silver shortage right now um, in terms of a deficiency in quantity. I think that there is sufficient silver unless then someone can prove otherwise and the thing about IMAX is just not true. I mean the IMAX are rolling off the production lines and and there's enough IMAX out there so you know you just gotta take the source of your information into account each time. Just because someone is um, invested in bullion or um, buys and sells bullion, I mean we all buy and sell bullion, but does it on a regular basis does not make them a bad source of information. You have to take the information into account itself, um, not necessarily the messenger. The messenger could be completely dishonest and the info can be good. It could be a trusted source and the info can be bad. So just look at the info, um, you know, but do take that source into consideration. If it's someone who um, has a history of writing these articles that just don't make sense or, or never came true, um, then take that into consideration. And if the person is uh, using certain language, very frightening language and inflammatory language, uh, it's just a red flag, something that you should take into consideration when you're making your decisions. Is there a silver shortage today? No, there's not. Is there a silver shortage, i.e. a deficiency in quantity um, in the great grand scheme of things? Absolutely there is. Silver is a finite resource. We only have so much on this planet. Uh, even the asteroid that landed in Russia recently didn't have any silver on it. I was sad to hear. It was just iron and rocks. But, um, you know, there is silver out in space. So at some point in the future, we will get uh, a large quantity of silver, assuming we can survive that long, and don't kill ourselves off. Once we get out into space, we'll have abundant silver. That's my opinion but we will need abundant silver because silver is the metal of technology and the metal of the future. Uh, the internet is silver. All of your gadgets are silver. All your computers are silver. All your cars are silver. There's silver in, in everything, every building, every vehicle, every device. It is the metal of the future. And we will never, never, never get enough silver. We'll never get our hands on enough silver, in my opinion. And uh, demand will always be there but uh, who knows what the supply will be like. We don't know what the supply is even like on this planet. We don't even really know how much silver there is on this planet, let alone out in space. But um, anyhow, that's my video, guys. Hope it made sense, and I'm going to have another one coming up this afternoon. Talk to you then.